Okay, this is a fit up of um, what we call a screw and stud conversion. This is a set of HDT 308 holding heads. So uh, what happens with these is they uh, run this type of rocker on a factory. So they've got a, the boss is drilled with a 516 bolt. So there's no adjustment. So they rely on the thickness of the pedestals and push rod lengths and stuff for adjustment. So going to a bigger camshaft to get rid of this stuff and we run because it's got a hole in the head that uh, push rod won't guide in we run this style of guide plate on top that'll locate the push rod and we run this type of what we call a screw and stud so that's 716 in the head and this particular stud is 38 it's always preferred to go to the 716 one, which is the bigger, bigger diameter. So what we have to do is machine these bosses down. The thickness of that jam nut plus the guide plate, which is 375. So we're machining from the top of the factory pedestal 375 down. So what we'll do with the screw and stud is we'll end up running this type of rocker with the Stud goes in the centre with a posi lock on top, so that's got full adjustment up and down. Um, once you get your push rod geometry correct, then you've got full adjustment of the rocker, a lot stronger rocker. This is a steel style engine pro rocker, but there's a lot of aluminium ones you can use, billet aluminium, crane, comp cams, there's numerous amount. So uh, what I'll do here is I'll just drill a pilot hole in the boss so that my um, arbor on the end of my cutter locates in the hole nicely. And I've got a two bladed spot cutter which I'll machine down 375 thou. Then I'll drill my hole to 38 which is tapping drill size for 716. And I will tap a 716 UNC thread in that after. I'll just show you how the so I've set it, just clocked it up on top. I've set the stopper on the machine there to 375 thou. That's the depth there, 375 thou. So as soon as that stopper comes down to there, it'll, it'll tell me how deep. That's it, that's the depth. That's how we do it.